Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna go over commodities. I look at the entire commodity complex, I look at a bunch of different commodity charts, uh, and give you guys my opinion on what's going on in the commodity area. Uh, the reason I'm trying to get this stuff in front of you right now is because I'm seeing everything break. It's all moving and shifting, I think, to the upside uh, here right now almost. And hopefully this can continue. Hopefully the buyers continue to pile into this. Hopefully the money flows uh, are starting to rotate from uh, other sectors into our commodity sector. Uh, that's what it looks like. Now I'm seeing weakness in the dollar. The dollar uh, came up into an ascending wedge pattern, it broke to the downside, which is a big tailwind for our commodities. Uh, so that's why I'm trying to get this information in front of you. I'll get these charts so you guys can see how things are uh, reacting. So I'm going to jump in here. Again, this is not financial advice. It's only financial education or my opinion. So let's jump in. I'll give you my opinion on the commodity sector. So first, I'm going to start with commodities, the general overall index, CRB index. This is a descending wedge pattern. Uh, we, we've wedged on up and we broke to the upside. Sure, this could roll over a little bit maybe, but with the dollar where it's at, this thing could also uh, launch higher here at any second. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on this portion over here. I've got this red line. This red line is a price projection. It's basically the, the size of this guy here put up. I've got the rocket ship rocketing higher. Uh, I think price is going to rocket higher here at any point here. Uh, zooming in on this right-hand side for the CRB index, uh, we've got the CRB index here. We've been moving on up. We came into this pattern. We had this like false little breakout move, and then we punched higher here. If the dollar declines, which we saw today in that ascending wedge, I think this is going to move on up to the upside. So a lot of this hinges on the dollar. Uh, and if that dollar drops, uh, I think the CRB index is, is going to move higher. Uh, here's crude oil. Crude oil is breaking out of its pattern, this massive wedge pattern uh, to the upside. So that's looking fantastic. Uh, it's a rocket ship potential. We could see this drop a little bit more, though. We could see it drop in the, in the short term down in, into the 60s before moving higher. Don't be afraid of that drop. We, you've got the pattern in front of you. You've got me on this channel to help you guys. If you see a little bit of a drop, don't be afraid. We're probably going to come on back, maybe test back test this line here somewhere in the mid 60s, and and then eventually rocket ship higher here. Uh, but if the dollar does drop, we may not get that back test. Just to let you know, natural gas is starting to to play with its uh, trend line. It's it's turtle heading out. We could see this thing rocket ship higher if we can break free from this trend line area. So that's another one that could potentially rocket ship. And if we see the dollar come under pressure here, we could be off, off to the races. Copper, all-time high. We came up, bumped our head, pulled back, and now we're coming back up again. Uh, this thing could be a rocket ship if the dollar drops and this thing breaks out of this, this area into all-time highs. Zooming in on this area uh, to get a little bit cleaner picture, we've got the downtrend line here. Uh, we pulled up, we've been moving sideways for a little while, we broke to the upside, came back, came up, broke again, and we're back testing, and I think we're going to see a move higher for gold. Gold is, it, it's coming, we've got, a, we've got a low, a higher low, and now we're working on coming through this guy right here, this, this trend line, and I think we're going to see it break at any point now. So we need to see gold, hopefully, this week, move to the upside substantially. That'll, that'll be our signal. And here's gold itself. Uh, big pattern break. We've got the cup and handle pattern that's developing. Hopefully break to the, to the upside. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. And this thing could be a potential rocket ship from this area right here. So any time now. Any time. Silver. Silver's still grinding it out. We've got this pattern that's developing here. We're right at the lower side of this pattern. Silver has come up and we're still basically uh, holding on to this trend line, support line. If we come on up, I mean, we could still break this upper, you know, 27-ish area and start getting getting a move on. So that's looking good. That could be a potential rocket ship as well, especially if that dollar drops. I'm watching it because all these are going to rotate. There's silver on a big term, big, big, large uh, chart. Uh, we A lot of people are saying this is a cup and handle pattern. It could potentially be one. 
Uh, and then we're going to see some, some rocket ship action hopefully very soon. Iron ore dropped out to the downside of this teeny little pattern here. Uh, it's a small pattern. It, it already hit its projection target uh, on this pullback. It's kind of bumped its head, bumped its head again, and then we'll see where this thing goes next. We do have a, a trend line coming through here. That right, It's right where it's at, that trend line. Uh, iron ore, we rocket shipped higher here. Uh, we're coming on back a little bit, but I'm, I'm expecting this to move on up to the upside probably, especially if, if the dollar weakens. Steel rebar, again, rocket ship here. We had a nice hard pullback and we're continuing to move on up here uh, recently. Lumber, I know this, everyone talks about lumber and ha having it be down. Massive breakout of this pattern here. We broke out in 2019. This thing was going to run, but then we had the COVID. There was a problem here. I don't know what this problem was, uh, but then they had the COVID thing in 2020, and then it started rocket hiring again. I think that this thing wants to go higher, uh, even though it's been volatile as all get out. But on a big picture view, we're still above its uh, support line. Here's uranium. Uranium's moving on up in this little channel. I'd like to see this thing break to the upside of this channel and get kicked in the butt and start rocket shipping higher. That's why I got the rocket ship on here. Uh, but it, it looks good. The downtrend line's been broken. We're just waiting for it to move higher. Uh, platinum. Platinum is another rocket ship in the making. Big move higher. Consolidation pattern broke to the upside. Doing one last kiss retest. And then I'm going to see this thing, I think, rocket higher. Especially the dollar goes down. Now, coal, coal had a massive breakout uh, to the upside here. Absolute massive. You'd think that coal would be a horrible uh, investment, but coal's breaking on, in terms of dollars. Cobalt, just to give you kind of a view of what cobalt looks like, big shoulder head shoulder pattern. And now we're starting to come back up. Uh, we've got aluminum breaking to the upside. I mean, guys, the deflation here is so strong with all of these commodities breaking massive patterns all to the upside. So another rocket ship in, in progress here. Uh, tin already took the rocket ship launch. Uh, maybe that loaded in that, that uh, spaceship with Jeff Bezos and those other billionaires because uh, tin, I mean, it's, it's making all-time highs right here. So that looks good. Uh, zinc's been in this wedge pattern that's been moving on up, so that looks solid. Now, this is the one that gets me really excited here. Uh, this is nickel. I'm going to back out and throw in one more trend line that I see right here, uh, just because I didn't didn't put it in there. Uh, there's also this trend line right there that it broke. Uh, so we've broken two. We've broken this downtrend line, and we've broken this basically overhead. Uh, resistance line and we're coming on up this thing looks like a freaking rocket ship right here right now uh nickel looks fantastic and i, I am getting excited here because i'm loading up in some nickel uh, i bought some norilsk nickel i already own a bunch of it and i'm buying nova nov uh novrf nova royalty but that's how i'm playing it and nickel looks absolutely fantastic right here uh molybdenum uh, we broke its downtrend. It's been moving on up. So, I mean, everything's kind of breaking their trends here. Neodymium, the rare earth element. Uh, we, we came back, back tested, and now we're moving on up. So this could be a big move because this is a large basing pattern here. We broke out, we back tested, and the size of these moves is massive. So we, we could see a very large move to the upside uh, for Neodymium. I mean, a very big move. Uh, I'm in the some rare earth uh, companies, I mean, uh, ETF, REMX, uh, and some companies, uh, Appia Energy, APAAF. Uh, here's a rocket ship in the, in the making right here. I like this one quite a bit. And then rhodium's been cooling off. Rhodium and I didn't have palladium on here. They usually run opposite of platinum and, and silver and gold uh, and copper. So this is running opposite. Uh, it, this is our one of our areas that we are going to swap into at the end of the bull market for commodities because rhodium usually goes down and palladium usually does and i think platinum is going to be our rocket ship here so again if you guys want to follow me you can follow me on twitter um i think it's at uh i'm trying to remember my name on there at finding finance so the at sign finding finance 
Uh, you can add me on there. I'm going to put more charts on there of some of these ones that I think are really good. I'll give you the ones that I'm buying, some of my stock picks that I'm that I'm purchasing. If this isn't advice. You guys can do whatever you want with the information. Uh, make sure it fits within your strategy and your uh, portfolio. But go on to Twitter, uh, add me on there, and I'm going to be posting more actively going forward of, of some of the things that I'm seeing so you guys can see it. You can always go back to that and you could say, okay, this is where it's at. You, you, you have timestamps. You can see also track how well some of these, uh, I guess, picks are or whatever you want to do with it. So that's that's what I have in the commodity complex. I, I don't see deflation. I don't. These charts aren't screaming deflation. They're screaming inflation. Uh, they're screaming a move higher. And I think we're going to get it very soon uh, in some of these because they're, they're all breaking. Some of them are kind of coming back a little bit. They do that when they try to break all-time highs. They hit their head. They kind of sell off for a little bit, and then they go and make an all-time high. So in some of these, I, I've added more uh, in terms of companies and, and sectors. And you can see that if you join uh, Twitter at Finding Finance. If you guys like this, uh, this content, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.